Have you ever wondered how crucial food safety is in the meat industry? The answer is immensely so. The Hazard Analysis Critical Control Point, or HACCP, is a systematic approach to identifying, evaluating, and controlling food safety hazards. Today, we're diving into how to implement HACCP in the meat industry, following the seven principles established by the Codex Alimentarius Commission. First and foremost, conduct a hazard analysis. This starts with assembling a HACCP team, composed of individuals knowledgeable in meat processing, food safety, and the specific operations involved. Next, describe the product, specifying the type of meat product, its intended use, and any specific requirements. Then identify the intended use of the product, determining how the consumer will use it. Following this, construct a process flow diagram, mapping out the entire process from receiving raw materials to the final product distribution. Lastly, conduct a hazard analysis, identifying potential biological, chemical, and physical hazards at each stage of the process. The second step involves identifying critical control points, or CCPs. These are the points in the process where control is essential to prevent, eliminate, or reduce identified hazards to acceptable levels. Moving on to the third step, establish critical limits. These are measurable and specific criteria for each identified CCP. The fourth step is to establish monitoring procedures. Develop procedures to ensure that CCPs are under control and specify how and when the monitoring will occur. Next, establish corrective actions. Define the actions to be taken when monitoring indicates that a CCP is not under control. Make sure to correct the cause of the deviation and document the actions taken. The sixth step involves establishing verification procedures. Confirm that the HACCP system is working effectively through periodic reviews and testing. Verify the accuracy of monitoring and corrective actions. At the seventh step, establish record keeping and documentation procedures. Keep records of the HACCP plan, including hazard analysis, CCPs, critical limits, monitoring results, and corrective actions. The documentation should be readily available for inspection. The eighth step is to implement procedures for verification. Regularly review and validate the HACCP plan to ensure its ongoing effectiveness. The ninth step is to train personnel. Provide training to all employees involved in the HACCP plan, ensuring they understand their roles and responsibilities. The tenth step is to establish a documentation and record-keeping system. Keep detailed records to demonstrate compliance with the HACCP plan. The eleventh step is to review and update the HACCP plan. Regularly review and update the HACCP plan based on changes in processes, products, or regulations. Lastly, always strive for continuous improvement. Continuously seek opportunities to improve the HACCP system and overall food safety. In conclusion, HACCP is a dynamic and flexible system, and it should be tailored to the specific processes and hazards of the meat industry. Regular review and updates are essential to ensure its continued effectiveness. Consulting with food safety experts or regulatory agencies can provide valuable insights and guidance during the implementation process.